In this video, we're going to render down our maple sap that we collected in the previous video. If you have not watched part one of making maple syrup at home, be sure to head over to our homepage to catch up. With that said, if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss content as we upload. So let's get started. All right, so we got this next part of the video is going to be uh, we have to filter out this stuff. This is the sap we got. We got about a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. I got a bowl underneath this shirt and we're going to pour it on the shirt and into the bowl to fill it out some of this stuff and then we're going to put it over here on the stove. We use an old t-shirt to strain the bugs out of the sap. I've seen this process done in the field while emptying the collected sap into its bucket to bring it home, but this is the first time, so lessons learned. Next time, I'm going to be filtering it as close as possible to when it was collected, but we could do it here just the same. After we filter the sap one more time through cloth, we pour the clean sap into a stainless steel pot so that we can start the evaporation process, which will leave us with pure maple syrup after we're done. The boiling process of the sap takes some time for the water to evaporate. The sap becomes noticeably more brown in color. This is the sugar left behind since it can't evaporate like the water does. Eventually we have to move the sap into a small pot to continue boiling so that we don't burn the sap. We know we're getting close to being completed when the boiling produces thick bubbles rather than the bubbles we're used to seeing when boiling water. When the sap has reached the right consistency, we end up pouring it into a small container. In this case, we used a small four ounce mason jar. Now that we have our sap, there's only one more thing left to do, and that's make waffles. Our Satan Wigner said, if you don't believe you can do it, then you don't have any chance at all. So I say this, get outside, explore, step out of your comfort zone and into something that you've always wanted to do. There's no one stopping you other than yourself. Consider subscribing to this channel so that you don't miss any future content. And until next time, stay safe.